Wake up. It's time to kickstart your day with Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration. Daily Dose of Inspiration. Good morning and welcome to this brand new day. This is Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration for Monday, January 9th, 2023. And as you wake up and you start this brand new day, thank God for this day. Commit this day to Him. Use this day to bring glory and honor to our Lord and use this day to share your faith with someone and encourage somebody. And while you're out and about today, take some time and give God praise because he is worthy of our praise. He is worthy of our worship. He is worthy of our thanksgiving. Today is January 9th and it is National Apricot Day. How do you pronounce that? Apricot? Apricot? Never had one of them, but if you like apricots today, today's your day. Make sure you grab some and enjoy National Apricot Day. Our scripture reading today is taken from the Gospel of Luke, chapter number 9, and it's verses 23 through 25. Scripture says, And he said to them all, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily, and follow me, for whosoever will save his, his life shall lose it. But whosoever will lose his life for my sake, the same shall save it. For what is a man advantaged if he gain the whole world and lose himself or be cast away? Friends, these are some pretty pointed words from Jesus here. And, and this came just before his transfiguration. And just after he fed the 5,000 people. And he starts off his saying here, he says, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. You know, that's a teaching rarely heard in, in churches today and in the Christian circles today. Because a lot of times, most Christians today want Jesus, but they want Jesus without the cross or without having to endure any any hardships. And that's the exact opposite of what Jesus is teaching us here. He said, if we're going to follow him, if we're going to come after him, he said, let him first off deny himself. Deny ourselves. we got to get to a point in our relationship with God where we say no to self and yes to God, where we deny ourselves of the worldly pleasures and we say yes to the things of God. And then he says, and take up his cross daily and follow me. To take up our cross means that we are crucifying the things of this world, our old life, our sin nature, and we need to do that each day. We need to make a solemn thing each day when we get up. And we talked about this last week. When we get up, are we going to follow God or are we going to follow the ways of the world? And Jesus said, look, if you're going to follow me, you got to deny yourself and you got to take up your cross each day to follow him. Then in verse 24, he says, For whosoever will save his life shall lose it, but whosoever will lose his life for my sake, the same shall save it. What Jesus is teaching here is, is the fact that that a lot of people figure that if they if they say if they they don't want to have to worry about things like like persecution things like um being a martyr for the faith so they're just going to sit in the background and kind of not go out and not may stir up any feathers things like that and Jesus is saying if you're going to try and lose your save your life you're going to lose it. You're going to lose it because that's not part of what Jesus just said here, that we got to take up our cross and follow him daily. And then in verse 25, for what is a man advantaged if he gained the whole world and lose himself or be cast away? What are we advantaged if we gain everything? But we find out in reality, we've lost it. So, friends, as you start this brand new day, are you going to take up your cross? Are you going to follow Jesus today? Or are you going to go and you're going to follow the ways of this world? Think about that as you go through this day. And remember, get into God's Word and allow God's Word to get into you and then share that Word with someone today. Have a blessed day.